Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh friends welcome back to my channel when we plug in induction cooker into the wall circuit and the main circuit breaker trips off or the main fuse burns out what is the reason in some conditions when we plug in into the power socket it have no response both faults are similar in first condition when we have high ampere circuit breaker at that time this fuse will burn out and main circuit breaker will not trip because main circuit breaker limit is more than this fuse limit but in second condition if our main circuit breaker or fuse are less than this limit at that time circuit breaker will trip but this fuse will not burn out both conditions will lead us to the short circuit condition how we can troubleshoot it when we plug in for repair test purpose using series lamp the lamp will glow full if you don't have good practical experience in power electronics never try to repair because it have unisolated live electrical voltage when i will connect to the wall socket we can see the lamp is fully turned on that means there is short circuit in the board how we can detect where is the problem let's start i separated control panel main board and the induction coil here so that we can troubleshoot it easily if we make a simplified circuit for this fault condition what will that this is line neutral it is coming to bridge rectifier here are ac voltage and it have positive negative dc voltage in the output of positive voltage we have inductor resonant coil in the positive line we have this induction coil that is resonant coil and resonant capacitor IGBT emitter is connected to ground then there is another condition then the second condition we have two diodes one capacitor low voltage power supply and it receives ground from this circuit this bridge rectifier so if this circuit is damaged most of the time if the wiper 12 vic is damaged it will damage these rectifiers or this capacitor will damage but this high current portion can damage bridge rectifier and here we have fuse if the circuit will receive pulses it will work as a inductor induct it will provide inductive reactance but if this igbt is short circuit or its drive circuit is damaged at that time it will behave like a shunt resistance like a piece of wire so it will cause to damage everything let's troubleshoot first of all set multimeter to diode here we have igbt and here is bridge rectifier igbt this pin is base this is collector center pin and this one is emitter we will check continuity between emitter and collector it is short circuit check in reverse ways so it is giving short circuit between emitter to collector check between base and collector base and emitter reverse direction so it is short circuit the igbt is short circuit between base to collector base to emitter emitter to collector 
it is short circuit that means it will give easiest path to the rectified line voltage it will trip it will burn out this fuse it will it will trip out the main circuit breaker let's remove it We can see emitter to collector, emitter to base, collector to base, it is short circuit. Its part number is 15 and 20 and DA. Now I will use this IGBT gate collector emitter. Here is protection diode. Connect black lead to emitter, red lead to the base and now check between emitter to collector, IGBT is turned on, red lead to the emitter, black lead to the base gate and now this is diode and here is now open circuit. This IGBT is good. When we replace IGBT we must verify the bridge rectifier this is cut side at the cut side we will place black lead and this is AC input terminal check diode 1 diode 0.535 1 diode second AC terminal it's ok DC terminal 0.997 now we will swap the leads at the cut side red lead open 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 red lead at the negative terminal black lead at AC terminal black lead as AC terminal black lead at second terminal this reading this is two diode drop voltage black lead at negative terminal it must be open it must be open so bridge rectifier is good the second thing we need to verify the gate drive components that are these transistors these three components must be verified diode transistor 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 so these are three transistors one two three and this one these three transistors must be verified before replacing IGBT there are two NPN transistors and one PNP I desoldered these three transistors and one diode that is here. Now we will check them one by one. Base to emitter high resistance, base to collector low resistance. This is PNP transistor. Emitter to collector, it is open. We will check in reverse direction. Okay.
we must verify these components if any of them is making problem it will cause to damage the IGBT this diode is good now I will verify this transistor the same way center is base right side collector left side emitter good emitter to collector collector to emitter check in reverse polarity it is NPN this one is PNP this NPN this NPN we will also verify this transistor it is a best practice because IGBT deals with high current a small error a very small error can damage it 713 714 right side collector left side emitter emitter to collector collector to emitter a reverse polarity test okay okay now these transistors are good so we will replace IGBT and we will check it now I will resolder these components we will check this resonant capacitor so it is 0.27 microfarad it is best practice to remove it and then we will test it okay now I will check this capacitor first of all discharge it it is 230 nano it is 230 nano so we will replace this capacitor if you feel any bad soldering desolder it and resolder it again now I will install this IGBT Let's apply power and check it. When the power is applied, never touch any component directly because it have unisolated voltage. Yes, now there is no short circuit. Before this, when we connected at that time, the lamp was glowing fully. But now the lamp is normal. If I will turn on, it is showing E0 error. That means it started to it started to send identification pulse. When there is no cookware, it must say E0. When we will place cooktop or any ferrous material on this cook plate, it will give cooking profile. Now our short circuit condition is finished short circuit condition may be due to IGBT may be due to this IC Viper IC may be due to this capacitor may be due to this capacitor or this capacitor resonant capacitor anything here 
can make short circuit. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you have any question, please write in the comments. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.